Alright my dudes, welcome to the today's video. At the Rad Ranch on the Rad Potential YouTube channel, we are getting ready to fire this whole thing up. Notice, jumper cables are disconnected. I got the stock fuel pump is still out of the car. However, I've got my trash pump, which you can't really, oh, you can kind of see it hanging there. Um, hooked up, let me pause my tunes. So the trash pump's hooked up. It's the next day from yesterday, which was the last time this car ran. We're gonna fire this baby up. I'm just gonna put the key in it, crank it over. That pump's hooked up. We'll see if it primes, we'll see if it goes. And uh, let's see what happens. That seems like a, uh, hey, you're not getting fuel symptom right there. So, let's investigate. We've been cranking it. In theory, that should have turned the pump on while we're cranking, while it's running. Oh, I'm seeing some fuel up here. The flashlight. Man, let me tell you, I've been really good about either A, losing my flashlight, or B, leaving it somewhere. All right, I got fuel in the bowls. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. I can't really see in that one, but there's fuel down yonder ways. Let's make sure it's squirting whenever I pump it. Oh yeah, she's squirting. She's squirting fuel good, like. Um, so I don't have the choke hooked up, but the choke's easy to hook up. So, oh, that was my ankle, and that did not feel wonderfully good at all. Okay. Choke cable. Drop it in right here. We're on the wrong side of that vacuum line. Drop it in, there we go, pull the choke. Oh, come on. Get it in through there, see set. Okay, choke's hooked up. This one's always been a real pain in the butt to pull. I don't know if it's the cable, or if it's the actual choke thing in the dash. But this thing sucks. Use a little wrench. Make sure. Okay, the choke itself is not moving. Do I need to press the throttle? Okay, choke's pulled. I'm gonna put you guys over here because I gotta hold this. But let's see what it does. So, it's running on the choke right now. Wonder if it's still dumping fuel out of the bowl. Nope, not leaking. Yeah. Make sure. All right, so it's not showing any oil pressure, so that means that sensor's jacked up, and we'll see if the water temp comes up. See if either of those sensors are jacked up. All 
Alright guys, so focus. Water temp gauge is coming off the peg. Looks like the oil pressure switch is dead. We know it's making oil pressure because we ran it on the stand. The smoke's clearing up. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit here, and then I'm gonna shut it off. I've been like systematically pushing the choke down as the uh, car warms up. basically gone. Looks like it's cooking the paint. Cooking the paint off that brand new muffler. Oh, that paint smells terrible. Coming up on temp, fuel will get done work and I need to diagnose that as well. Maybe a cinder. Oh, where's my radiator cap? Choke just came off. All by itself. Look at this idle. I'm not hitting the throttle at all. Probably could turn it down a little bit. How about that? Alright guys, this is looking pretty promising right here. This is looking like we might be uh, putting this on the ground and moving it out of the garage. Hang. That might be because the air cleaner's not on, so some of the emission stuff isn't hooked up all the way. Whew. Horn works. All right, my guys. Shop's clear of most of the smokiness, and uh, it's, if there, like I'm telling you, there needs to be. Well, I'd say there needs to be. This would be pretty big, brother. But if there is a smell function on the internet, it smells like just cooked muffler paint right now because that's what that muffler was freshly painted so it cooked it off well the results it was running idling good to go I shut it off I noticed that I had a uh, water leak coming from the back of the water pump now I'm not sure slash I should just look because I have some laying around if these water pumps have like a weep hole on the bottom which it doesn't look like this one does However, I'm seeing a water leak dripping out of this, which is like the bottom of the uh, the water pump, the bottom of it. And it's dripping down the front cover and running off the front of the engine. So that's a pretty good issue right there. So I'm going to have to basically undress the whole front of the motor again. No big deal. We'll get it. We'll get it fixed. That's better than having to take the engine out. The other thing is I need <coughs> to figure out this fuel pump. This is an OEM one like I explained in the last video. That one's not... I did try to hot start it real quick and it really like it almost it like almost lit off and then I was pumping the throttle too much and I definitely just flooded it. But I was either here or there, my camera battery was dead, so I didn't get to film it, but that's you know on me again. So I'm gonna let this sit here, cool off a little bit. I need to zip tie that fuel pump up out of the way. Um, I'm planning on cleaning this off and pushing outside so I can wash it. It's just a little dusty, and I really want to get my Cherokee in here to do some work to it as well. So, like I said, I got to fix that water leak, um, which I can do tomorrow. Charles is going to come out tomorrow, so maybe, uh, maybe I ought to leave the car in the garage. But if he's coming out tomorrow, we can definitely get it fired back up to put it back in there. So, and the Jeep will still be running. I'll probably just wash the Jeep as well, and then put it in here. But I just like to, one of those like, you erase the page and start over. So if I pull this out, clean the shop out, we're good to go. Then, 
tomorrow we can put it back in. It's like starting on a new project, right? So, I'm going to get this pulled out of here. All right, my dude. So, we are getting ready to fire this baby up. It's on the ground. Start this thing fresh tomorrow. It has cooled down some, but not a ton. I wonder if I'm going to have to choke it. Push the throttle in. Pull the choke. Set you guys down in a weird awkward position that you can't see anything that's going on. And let's see what we got. Look at us doing things. All right. So I still got the fuel pump under the car. It is zip tied up. Woo! Will it scrape? Ideally, this doesn't rip the fuel pump off the bottom of the car. Look at us doing stuff. gonna die but that's just the choke turning off half tempted to take it for a little rip but I can't see anything out the window something sounds funny in the back Heck yeah! Alright guys, so we're on my phone because the uh, video quality is mega better at night. We got the car running. It started. A little bit tough to start, but I feel like it's more of a carburetor issue than like an engine issue because it did start. Um, I'm going to wash it real quick so that way it's clean for tomorrow. And then when Charles gets here tomorrow, we'll fire it up, drive it back in the shop and piddle with whatever we need to piddle with. But uh, for now, it's right here under its own power. A couple little tinker things to piddle with this week and get it all back up and ready to rip. Um, and then I can get it back to Scott. So I'm pretty pumped, pretty pumped. A few carburetor things, some timing things, and then I think we'll be ready to rip. Thanks for watching. Keep it wrapped.